Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devi and you are watching Just Devi Marie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate all the love that you guys have shown me since I've started this journey. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also remember to subscribe to my other YouTube channel called Yard Mints with me and my husband where we basically review Jamaican food and Jamaican activities, experiences. So go and check out that channel. Also, if you like this video today, give me a thumbs up. Also, if there's anything else you wanna see on my channel, definitely comment down below so I can know. So today, what I'll be doing is something interesting. I'll actually be turning this old twist yeah, these old twists, these twists that I've had in for maybe about five days into a wash and go. So, we'll see how that's gonna look. I'm pretty excited. I feel like it's gonna come out good. But if you wanna see the results and how I get where I get, keep watching. gonna be doing basically I'm gonna be turning these twists these old twists into a wash and go and I'm gonna be seeing if the results will be any different if I start on twists or on old twists or if I had started on freshly washed hair I know that usually watching my videos you guys realize that I usually start on clean freshly washed deep conditioned hair but I'm trying something different today you guys know that I'm pretty simple and effective so if there's something that can cut down the amount of time that I spend doing my hair or I can get more wear time out of my hair I'm gonna try it and hopefully you guys will find it interesting also so I'm just gonna take down my hair as I said I put these twists in probably about five days ago so I don't know how many twists I have in my hair but this is what it looks like that's one side that's one side that's how it looks like it's it's already pretty fuzzy I'm not gonna lie but I'm hoping that you know I can get more wear out of this style before I have to wash my hair again so I'll be using two products today two products that I actually haven't used together one of them is this this is the first time that I'll be using that product but the other one I have used before and you guys would have known that I use this product if you had watched my previous videos so the first product that I'm gonna be using is the wet line extreme gel this is what I'll be using as my gel and as my styler I'm gonna be using a Jamaican product it's called it's by Ashley Natural it's called nourishing daily hair butter cream it looks pretty thick um, it smells good so I'm hoping that these two together will give me some nice results a friend of mine actually recommended this product to me so it's the first time I'm actually trying it I bought it here in Jamaica but I believe they do have a Instagram page so hopefully this works out so yeah so what I'm gonna be doing is catching up all of my hair catching up all the twists just putting it in like a little top knot right so that i can have what i don't need out the way you know that if you watch my other videos on like tutorials and stuff or my other styling videos you'd have realized that i like to do this just because i don't like to get confused with my section so basically what i'll be doing is just taking out one of the twists just pulling them out from the top knot and unraveling them and of course guys you guys could have worn your hair as a twist out if you wanted to and if you guys haven't seen my nine twist twist out video i'm gonna put it in the cards for you so you can check it out but i didn't feel like wearing my hair in a twist out today i don't know i really love wash and go so i'm just hoping that maybe this will be a look i don't know so i'm just taking out one section here i'm gonna try and separate it a little bit as best as i can right so that's how that section looks right there and what I'm actually gonna be doing is I have my water bottle here my spray bottle with water in there I'm just gonna be spraying it lightly just enough for my hair to get a little bit moisturized not that it's not moisturized but it is dry <laughs> so I'm just gonna be spraying it a little bit a little bit and then I'm going to be rubbing my hands through it just to kind of let the water absorb in the hair in this section then I'm gonna be adding a little bit of the butter the butter cream I'm gonna be adding this much maybe that's too much I don't know let's see let's see 
So it went on pretty smoothly. Feels very moisturizing. Extremely moisturizing. And then I'm gonna add some gel. Feel like I do need a little bit more gel on the ends. I don't know how is it looking guys how is it looking and I'm basically just using my hands to basically ensure that all the product is smooth I'm not gonna be using my brush my detangling brush as I would previously use if I was doing a wash and go but I'm just using my hands to see if I can get my hair to be weighed down hopefully that look all right people oh it look it look good no, I can't hear, you know, if you're not telling me it look good or not. But comment down below if it look good. So that's the first section. And then I'm going to be taking the next twist from the back. And just going ahead and unraveling it. Doing the same thing that I did before. So if at any point you want to see me speeding through this, y'all know what it is. I'm just repeating the same process and I'll just let you watch a lot.
foundations and trust me when Matele said my shook, my shook. Like the products, the wet line with the Ashley, they mixed so well. Like that Ashley product, it may just become a part of my like necessity in my products stash. It may become a necessity. Seriously, because when I was putting that on my hair, my hair already started to define and it was weighed down. Let me tell you that this this <laughs> this experiment or whatever, trust me, I am feeling it. Like, look at my hair. Do you guys see that definition? And if you have been watching any of my videos any at all, you know that my problem area is the front of my hair into the crown because it's a lot straighter and it's well not straighter but it's the curl pattern is a lot looser and so therefore it's a lot harder to get them to really define and to form and to really look the way that I, I would like it to look that section is also a lot frizzier than the rest of my hair so I usually have to go in with a lot of product but I didn't have to do that this time like even this whole combination of the twisting my hair first and then doing the wash and go like, I don't know if that has something to do with or the products or what, but trust me, I am very pleased and I am super excited to see what it will look like when it's dry. Because if my love it so no, oh, it's like I look when it's dry. Like, I'm really excited, guys. I feel like this is gonna turn out very, very well. So, I'm gonna come back in the next clip when my hair is completely dry and let you guys know my final thoughts. Okay, guys, my hair is completely dried, and these are my final thoughts thoughts i honestly love it i think it looks really good as you probably can see i have smoothed my middle part with some gel as usual i love to do that i just feel like it frames my face really well but overall i think this method really worked i feel like my hair is a lot more defined especially in the sections that i usually have to work harder on the front sections and the crown to get it to actually curl and to actually define the way that i like it to be defined so that is definitely a plus second thing is that it dried quick like I didn't have to spend the whole day for it to dry I did wait until the next day to show you because I kind of did it late but it never take no time to dry my ends were dry in no time it's just the roots that took up a lot of the drying time but overall I'm gonna really take me to do this often and I say this because my hair is like my scalp is very itchy so I have like itchy scalp on them something there so that's why I wash my hair every week just so that I can combat all of that and doing twists and then doing another style like my scalp right now is actually itching me so this probably won't I probably won't wear this style for a very long time but probably what I'll do the next time is have my hair in the twist for not five days but maybe two days and then do this style and then wear them until I'm ready to wash and deep condition my hair again but overall it never bad it never bad I really like the results and it's very bo bouncy. I feel like the products that I use to the wet line and the Ashley butter cream, they actually worked very well together too. And that's probably why the style sell off so I don't know. But I really do like it. This is what one side looks like. This is the other side. This is the front. But yeah, I really do like it. And my hair is very bouncy. Like it's very bouncy. It's not, it doesn't have any crunch. Um, which is a little bit concerning just because I like to have crunch on like first day here Just so that I know that it will last a lot longer, but either way the style sell off I would do it again, but not probably not very often as I said because of the whole scalp situation By the way, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it Remember to check out my other videos on the channel Remember to subscribe. Thank you again for all the love that you have been showing me Remember to thumbs up this video if you liked it Comment down below what else you would like to see. Remember to follow my other channel at Yardments and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.